Hello there. YouTube, wherever you are around the world, hopefully you're having a good morning, a good evening, or a good afternoon. I stuffed up that order, but who cares? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Ellie Moses, your 22-year-old law film student here from Sydney, Australia. Shooting your shot, baby. And today, we are up to episode 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 7, titled Help. Now, hopefully you guys can help me out with this video, and let's get it to 250 likes, baby. I think we are 3-0 and on Buffy videos this season. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. I like the Lakers who are 0-3 at the moment and just lost again this morning to the Trailblazers. So yeah, we are 0-3. Oh Not looking good, but I am 3-0 on Buffy videos, hopefully. So hopefully we make this one a 4-0. So yeah, let's waste no more time. Let's see if from beneath you it devours. Starts coming a bit true and we see more of the demon or whatever it is that's being teased this season. Let's get right into the reaction. Let's go. Ah, looks like we're reliving the body here. Not a good start. Not a good start. You did good work on this. It looks good. Thanks. You fell set for the service to Martha. Yeah. Whenever you start off a coffin with just a body in oh, when where we start off a coffin. Whenever you start an episode with a body in a coffin and oh, Buffy's in one of the coffins. I was like, I thought Buffy was gonna have PTSD flashbacks here. For season six. <laughs> you know, not the shortest one here. I don't know why I had to be in the kid's coffin. <laughs> I know it's my no, job. No. I'm sorry. I want to help. I guess I've been a bit stressed out lately. I'm sorry to cadaver. Nothing. Well, there's the demon humongo bad. That's Swomack. He should be home in bed, cuddling up to my insomnia <laughs> and worrying about how many lessons to mark. And Dawn should be doing the homework, preparing for school. Counselor. It's my first week actually talking with kids. Oh. I think you underestimate your familiarity with the world of weird tricky. <laughs> this job's perfect for you. Buffy gonna help out the kids this episode. Let's go. My sister on an educational outing to the dead body. I don't like the bed. I mean, like natural cousin. The paper said she had unusual cuts and contusions on her neck. Maybe she cut herself shaving and then died naturally of infection. If there's gonna be another jump scare she here. Was... Of this lady rising as a vampire. Fuck my life. Honestly, I got. Listen, I predicted the thing and then the eyes open. Alright, listen. What can I do, man? I cannot win. Literally, I was thinking, I was like, I was preparing myself for like the maybe the hands raise and choke someone thing or like the like Undertaker raise thing. I did not expect an extreme close up shot of these yellow eyes, okay? I oh man. That I can help with. Yes, yes, deserved. I always thought closed caskets were more tasteful anyway. See, Buffy helped out the vampire. There's lots of help going on this episode. But, but literally two minutes in and the jump scare like, what's with the jump scares this season honestly i'm going to get violated man like oh man oh. off topic we're talking on stream yesterday about doing a halloween um movie watch along this week and one of them is going to be scream and then another one's going to be a new movie a horror movie i've never seen before and you guys were recommending movies i have never seen before and i was looking at the images and i had nightmares from the images last night from the images i'm gonna get destroyed fam like you're setting me up for a heart attack honestly <laughs> but yeah um i thought the episode was gonna go a different way here clearly we had sort of like a bad boys like scene here with buffy and co in the morgue with the dead bodies um taking dawn um on a trip hey you can't child lock dawn at home you bring her in a child lock coffin okay that's what, that's what you're gonna do um yeah interesting that they don't leave dawn at home with willow at the moment clearly there's still a little bit of maybe trust issues with willow and her recovering that she's not in the right state to take care of dawn and it's interesting that they would bring dawn to something like that i mean buffy and xander could probably have taken care of that vampire pretty easily and dawn could have easily stayed at home like and done a homework or something and sleep early i mean it's a school night and buffy has school tomorrow she's counseling helping the kids but um obviously she's been patrolling all her life and it, it seems weird that they would bring dawn with them and maybe there's still a little bit of trust issues with willow especially on a school night you think they'd leave dawn at home so interesting stuff there it's about power <laughs> Pictures of Sarah's kidney. 
I don't want to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Serious, I don't want to talk. This is going to be a tough first day with the kids. Awful being in Kiev. But the thing is, you know, with boys like this, they're really just insecure. Oh. Yeah. Everyone's upset. You know. <laughs> Divorce is terrible. My parents got divorced when I was a kid. Yeah, my parents are happily married. What? You just said the book. It's hard. I feel left out. Oh. <laughs> but I'm also concerned about girls. Maybe I should get back to buying. It's going to be interesting dealing with the students. You have to stick up for yourself, Amanda. You need to show this bully that you're not going to take any more of his shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Cause that's what I did. I get out of the class. I jumped him in the parking lot. And I slammed his stupid ass into your face right into the pavement. Oh. What? She curb stomped him, Seth Rollins style. Mr. Mayor, when you see you. <laughs> Do you think I should pound on him some more? I bet she's giving them great advice. Absolutely. <laughs> These kids are lucky to have Buffy looking out for them. It's your hammer, right? Well, the end of the hammer, you have the power, but no control. It takes like two strokes to hit the nail in, or you could hit your thumb. Ouch. So you <laughs> control, but no power. It could take like ten strokes to knock the nail in. Construction no analogy. Power control. <laughs> Trade off. That's actually not a bad analogy. Hey! <laughs> Except, I'm less worried about hitting my thumb and more worried about going all black eyed batty and bewitching that hammer into cracking my friend's skulls open like coconut. Right. Are you sure you're ready for this? Are they revisiting the cliff face? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, we haven't had a scene like this yet, maybe visiting Tara's grave. We didn't get to bury Tara because we were so lost with the chaos that was happening with Dark Willow. I love how it's like a bright sunny day as well, using the advantage of the natural lighting. I mean, they could have gone all dark and gloomy as well with it. But I guess, I guess it's meant to be a cathartic moment for Willow here, hence the natural lighting of the sunlight as well. I mean, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Man, I wonder that to last longer. There's nothing shameful about being gay. Nothing. Well, I, I know. It's, it's just... I'm, I'm not positive. So, uh, <laughs> I was thinking that... Why don't you go on a, a date with me? So <laughs> sure. Asking your counselor out. My guy shot... Shooting his shot, baby! <laughs> With Buffy. Hey, listen, Buffy's gonna have to deal with an array of issues with this. Like, different personalities, different types of people, a range of people, uh, I guess a range of different issues as well. Like, like I said, you had one guy dealing with his brother going to the Marines, um, and then another person saying, you know what, I think I'm gay and I would like you to go on a date with me to see another girl who was basically you think she was getting bullied but she actually dealt with the bully by curb stomping him like these are issues that are going to be so unpredictable to buffy that she's going to need to find a way to connect with these students but then again you remember the advice of the principal as well don't let them in too much don't like uh, make them feel really comfortable so it's going to be interesting to see what line buffy um uh what fine line buffy threads with this one so it's going to be interesting I'm excited to see, and I noticed the color palette this episode, it's much more bright and vibrant, even the way Buffy looks, more glowing, um, even the lipstick, I don't know, from that, it's just more shining, I don't know, compared to the last few episodes, where it was a bit more dark and gloomy, you know, lots of candle lit stuff, um, this episode, they've gone all bright and vibrant, and more of like a comedic tone, with the people getting advice from their problems, and Buffy dealing with her first day, and... Um, I enjoyed like the editing and the cuts of like different people showcasing like different time periods as well Clearly the Buffy's changed clothes. So it's a different day. So it's good to see it Sounds like it's difficult for you Your sister makes it hard for you to establish your own identity You said she's controlling she doesn't let you make your own decisions. Yeah and She borrowed my clothes from <laughs> 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 You're not doing your homework. That is that is gold. That all just seems kind of 
Whatever. I know how to handle it. Mr. Foot, I'm not graduating from high school. Why not? I really like that shirt. Where'd you get it? Cassie, don't change the subject. Hey, yo. Why won't you graduate? Because next Friday I'm gonna die. What? Bam! Okay, this is this. All right, yeah. You know how I just said about all the the happy, clappy, colorful stuff, the lighthearted nature of dawn. What? Can we talk about something else? And then boom. No, we have to talk about this. Luna Lovegood over here says she's gonna die. So it's it. Like you wanna hurt yourself? Oh, I'm I'm not gonna commit suicide if if that's what you're saying. That's what I thought. No way. Okay, then then what are you saying? Look, I don't mean to be a pain. You seem really nice, and I know you're just trying to help, but I'm wasting your time. No, you're not. Is that threatening? No. No, I I just know that next Friday I'm gonna die. Some things I just know. I, I don't know how, I just do. Must be Friday the 13th. Like I know there will be coins. Coins? Mm hmm Lots of coins. I know that you'll feel someplace dark underground. I, I don't know. What do you mean underground? I know you'll try to help. Kissy, oh. I don't understand what you're saying. But you can't, okay? I gotta go. Okay. Craig, I don't want Mr. Corrigan sending me to principal work uh, again. Open a case file. Mr. Vink's nice. I really do like that shirt. You should put a sweater on so it doesn't get stained. Open a case Kissy, file up for Cassie right now. Open a case file what up. What supposed to do? Well, you did what you were supposed to do. You reported the situation to me. I was in high school and I had a thing with this guy, right? Real bully. I kept telling everyone that he better sleep with one eye open because I was going to bust his ass. <laughs> well, I got suspended. Talk like that is taken pretty seriously where I come from. The hood. <laughs> Beverly Hills. <laughs> Fresh Prince, baby. <laughs> Listen, the point is I was talking big because I was scared. I never knew Tupac grew up in Beverly Hills. Let alone someone's ass. Most of the time, that's what it is when these students act out. Fear, pain. But sometimes it's not just talking. Every time there's a threat like this, we do the same dance. Inform teachers, search lockers, but we can't, we can't know what's gonna happen and we can't search their brains. We just, we just do what we can. It's not enough. I need to fix this. I don't usually get a heads up before somebody dies. What do you mean usually? No. Oh, step up. No, not today. <laughs> I have to make this matter. Oh, oh that's huge. Hey, should have got a sweater for that shirt. Cassie was right. Some Dr. Fate aspects on Cassie right here, being able to see the future. I have a job for you. What are you? What do you have to read for? Oh, just for me, I guess. I kind of stop reading my homework assignments. I just <laughs> read what I want. That's so cool. I'd do that, but my sister would be down my neck in a second. Summers. Hey, are you the counselor's little sister? No. Yes. She's my sister. <laughs> Not to me, huh? No, no, she's, she's really nice. I actually just saw her this morning. Oh, really? Well, what about? Uh, I'm sorry, that's none of my business. No, my sweet beauty, are you guys going to that dance? No, I don't think so. Oh. I mean, didn't he ask you? She ain't gonna make it to the dance. Like 105 <laughs> times. And you said no. 106 times. No, I, I can't go. I'm not gonna be around that night. There we go. She ain't gonna be around. Cassie, I mean, maybe, just maybe, you're trying so hard to help, but you see the time on there, and it's just none. <laughs> maybe. Good to see Willow back on the computers. Maybe not. <laughs> Let me go check on my other coworkers. The doctor already sent them. Gross. Ear infections, yeast infections, none of my business. <laughs> Have you Googled her yet? Willow, she's 17. It's a search engine. Look. My skin is mint and no man to drink. My thighs unused, unclenched. This body is not worthy yet. But dirt waits for no woman, and coins will buy no time. Coins! I hear the chatter of the bugs, it's they alone will feast. She has a yin for the big dirt nap. I don't know. You know, a lot of teens post some pretty angsty poetry on the web. Yeah, I even posted a melodramatic love poem or two back in my day. Love poems? I'm over you now, sweetie. 
<laughs> All I'm saying is that this is normal teen stuff. Yeah. I'm thinking some people can't handle the rejection. <laughs> I'm thinking that. Hey, I got something. <laughs> Drunken disorderly, disturbing the peace. It's a lot of charges. Dawn just neglected. A violent drunk? We better find out. Tell me his address straight. Shh. Here. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm liking Mike Helgenberg to the perp. Let's call him before he lawyers up. <laughs> Dawn just wants to be involved and just just got Nothing ignored. Matters. <laughs> Get your gun, fool. I need to talk to you. Oh, I recognize that actor. Oh, she's screwing up her grades again. Transformers. Because she's uh, not the sharpest apple in the barrel. I just want to make sure. Well, that's a lie. Uh, who told you this? Did Cassie's mother put you up to this? Because I pay my support, okay, to the dime. She just wants to take away the one weekend a month I get to be with my girl. He seems like an honest dad. Are you? When? Friday. Which weekend is it? I just had her last weekend. I may not be the greatest dad in the world, but I don't beat up my daughter. So you won't be seeing her this Friday then? Not unless my ex-wife gets a personality transplant. Okay. It's not him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not the one who does it. <laughs> it's a dance and hear lame music to wear a silly dress and laugh and stuff. I hope that Cassie makes it out of this and I'd like to go. We don't go all season six and kill her off. There's a lot of stuff I'd like to do. I'd love to ice skate at Rockefeller Center. I'd love to see my cousins grow up and see how they turn out because they're really mean and I think they're going to be fat. I'd love to backpack across the country. Or... See, the music's crescendoing. I don't know. And I feel like something's going to happen. Love. I won't. <laughs> I just never will. Why, Bob? No. Cassie, you will. You just have to tell us what you know. You have to tell us everything. Please help us. I can't. I just know it's going to happen. I don't know why and I don't know how, but something out there is going to kill me. Oh my gosh, that was that jump scare almost got me with these freaking sh whatever shaman worshippers. Oh, they're doing a ring around Cassie. Nice, the coins. Why Cassie fam? Leave her alone. Well, um, yeah, I guess now with a pause, like, uh, I guess a break in play with the show with the, the blackout. Um, yeah, interesting to see uh, to what lengths this season Buffy takes her counseling role. I mean, she's taking it outside of school and whether the principal finds out there and checks her for it. Because, yeah, listen, looking up school files or someone, finding out who their parents are, visiting their parents, are asking accusations about whether they beat up their child. Hey, that's, 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 obviously it's the Slayer's role or Buffy, like, it's, it's, like, I don't know, as a school counsellor, obviously, I don't know if you're allowed to do that, or it's, like, meant to be in school stuff, and you're meant to counsel the kids at school, she's obviously taking it a bit further and doing things outside of school, I'm not sure whether the principal will, um, find out, and if he'll be on side with Buffy with that, but yeah, there's the, a the straight tonal shift this episode as well, um, we started off, you know, very colorful, very vibrant, very playful, um, with Buffy being a council, dealing with all these problems, a few comedic uh, problems as well, with the guy asking Buffy to go out on a date, um, the guy not knowing um, whether he's lonely with his parents, he thought they were getting, she thought they were getting a divorce, but, you know, they're actually just happy mar happily married, and he should get back to bio class, um, and then even Dawn, talking about her sister, that, that was actually the highlight of the episode so far, that, that so far, that that was golden and then yeah the mystery surrounding cassie uh, buffy finally gets like an eye-opening um uh, an eye-opening patient i guess and then yeah she finds out that it's not suicide thoughts because i thought it was going to be maybe like another jonathan situation where buffy has dealt with that before and has to i guess guide her on the path to making her herself feel valuable but no she's 
clearly had some psy uh 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 how do I say it? Like psychic visions or something. Um, and she, Buffy wants her to tell her the truth or like tell her what she knows. So I guess we'll find out with that. Maybe it has something to do with the mother being involved in things. But yeah, the complete tonal shift this episode. And then again, the lighting um, change as well to the night scene as well. Uh, still natural lighting as well. But then again, Cassie overwhelmed by the darkness as well and the shadows as she's talking to Buffy. And Buffy trying to tell her, you know what, we can deal with this. But yeah, Buffy obviously trying to hide her identity as well as the slayer to the principal to a lot of the school peas as well um but yeah i guess we'll see how it plays out now in the final uh 15 minutes hey how are we doing i'm sorry i didn't mean to scare you oh no it's okay i you know just didn't get any sleep last night it's been a long week huh well thank god it's friday <laughs> i can't believe i just said that <laughs> tgif <laughs> see you later <laughs> i sit alone and try to love him i sit alone and laugh Lots of abstract paintings and artworks there with Cassie. Man, we're going down the Friday the 13th vibes here, man. It's not the Friday with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. I wish it was those vibes. But no. Dark and gloomy, Friday the 13th style. I'd say there's more than one evil. I'm your bad man. Go on. Damn, damn, what's with the cell phone? What did you do? I hurt you, Buffy. And I will pay. I am paying because I hurt the girl. Buffy's the girl, okay, yeah, yeah. No. It's not me. It's a different girl. Help me be quiet. I think it's worse when I'm here. That allows the bee in Egyptian history. Oh, she just stuffed holes so that yeah, that pisses me off. Cassie predicted yeah. the bee. Pissed off a lot. No. I... Let me cut to the chase. I hear you can't get a date from me in four years. Oh, well, look, look I, I know it's your job to talk to kids with problems, but honestly, I, I don't have any. I'm fine. What if he's one of the monks or the worshippers? Really the, no big deal. The boyfriend. I have a friend that I, I really wanted to take. I don't know. I, I guess she doesn't see me that way. Ah, uh, slip up. It's funny. You're John's sister, right? Uh, that's right. John is my sister. That's <laughs> yeah, so weird. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Now, if Cassie won't budge, maybe I'll ask Dawn. You aren't mad at Cassie with her rejecting you like this? <laughs> nah. She's a girl, right? Making boys crazy is like her job description. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this guy's one of the monks, 100%. You guys uh, see my sister to the dance? <laughs> She's your second choice? <laughs> Points. Keeping an eye on you. He might be. I was about to say I'll put my house on it. But I'm not too sure because I remember Dawn had the hunch in the previous scene the episode. She said, um, she said something along the lines of, um, I had this hunch, listen, guys don't like getting rejected. And this guy's got rejected like 105, 106 times. And maybe because of the rejection and he keeps getting rejected, he's doing that to Cassie. So yeah, maybe Dawn is right in her hunch here. Maybe for the first time, Dawn's sharing or Dawn's expressing Buffy-like qualities from early Buffy where um, this season, Buffy had a hunch last episode with Willow, um, but she was wrong in terms of who was doing the skinning. And then now Dawn, um, the opposite this episode, has in the hunch with the boyfriend being rejected and possibly doing something to the girl that's rejecting him. And she could possibly be right. So I guess we'll find out. And then as well, I want to make a comment as well. There was one funny comment um in the comment section the other day and if you guys don't want to listen to this don't worry um it was deleted and then i asked the person to tell me you know what did the guy say like or whoever it was what did they say and they were saying like something along the lines um and i deleted the comment after i just wanted to see what they said they're saying something about how i watched buffy first then do reactions again um and predict 
um, do my predictions on my second rewatch to make it look like as I'm predicting stuff, which is the most cap and bullcrap thing ever because there's sometimes I'm like so far off. And plus, I don't have the time for that. I watch my reactions as they are first time. It's my first time watching Buffy. I guess because I've watched so much film and I love film so much, I enjoy making the predictions. I enjoy doing the pausing. Hey, and sometimes you're right. And sometimes you notice little subtle hints in the show from weed and little teasers, little Easter eggs, little lines of dialogue. And because I'm paying attention yeah sometimes I make the right predictions and sometimes you think you know the path that the show's going on so yeah I don't watch Buffy before that and then they made another comment about saying that um I apparently I do this for like to get girls this like thing this whole thing I do it to get girls on YouTube I'm like huh and I just laughed my ass off it was the funniest thing like and I was like, I do this for the love of film. I do this for the love of Buffy. I do this for the love of TV, the film, movies I watch. I do this for the love of film, like I said, and for you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. It was the most cap ass thing. And sometimes it's good to just laugh it off like that and see try to people or to see people try and put you down. And no, 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 you, 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 you tried and you failed, my friend, miserably. Because if not, like the things that when I see stuff like that, I use that for motivation, like when I posted my Wolverine audition tape on TikTok, I ended up deleting it because I didn't feel like it was the right place to put it on. And on YouTube, it um, garners more comments and interaction. But the first comment I got on my Wolverine audition tape on TikTok was like, yeah, nope. And that hurt, that hurt. But I'm using that to motivation to improve. Like, and hopefully, yeah, um, take my chances when they come. And then, yeah, so I use that for fuel, to fuel my energy, to fuel my ambition. So yeah, like I just laughed it off. So yeah, whether you're at this part in the video and you're listening to this bit, um, up to you guys. But yeah, I, I, I recommend you stay and listen to this bit, but it is what it is if you're gotten this far. Seems like someone's got quite a coin collection, huh? It's the curse of the Black Pearl medallions. Believe me, if I knew anything, I'd tell you. I, I just don't. Buffy going from school counselor to private investigator. <laughs> to creep me out. <laughs> to help. To make me better. To connect. And I'm going to connect with your face if you don't stop wasting my time and help me with I... Please. A girl could die. She can. She's not like you think. She's got powers. Of helping. And well, she was worried, and now I'm worried, and I wasn't pretending at all. I really wanted to be her friend. <laughs> oh, what's up, Peter? I was just wondering if anyone had asked you to win a form. Oh, what? the bio guy. Oh, uh, <laughs> out of nowhere. Not exactly. Well, uh, I was just doing a poll. Ah, uh, that that is savage. Who wouldn't want to take Dawn out? Come on, fam. Oh, that was, that was, Cassie? that was, that was a violation there. That was. <laughs> All present. All present. So it's a cult of boys and maybe the boyfriend is a part of them. What if all the boys that spoke to Buffy at the council are all part of the monks? This guy is obviously the biology guy, the flop. Damn! I thought maybe her, the guy that asked her out would be a part of it. Oh, grant us this infinite riches, and we will pay you with our sacrifice. We kneel before you with the gift of flesh. Okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> Undercover. Is the council, what the hell is she doing here? It, it, it was his idea. Back off. Get back. Get back, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Bro, my guy's gonna get whacked. Alright, you're gonna die. <laughs> this is a different type of counselor. <laughs> Four teenage boys trying to fight with each other. That flame beam. Oh! They, they raised him. Right, it's light work for Buffy. Don't worry, it's light work, it's light work. Butcher him! Oh, okay, that didn't. Oh, oh. Dude, 
And to the rescue! <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure the guy has an ample opportunity to take out Cassie. Yeah, a lot of time passed there. That is poor form on my guy. Oh yeah, that chip's still effective. Bad <laughs> man. Cool costume, not bad. Cool prosthetic work. She'll tell you. Oh, man, she got them psychic powers. <sighs> hey, Cassie would be a good student to keep seeing. Where are my infinite riches? Oh my! Bro, if there was a jump scare counter for this season, I and I had to do something every time there's a jump scare, I'd get destroyed. Help, help me, please, I'm bleeding. Sorry. My office hours are 10 to 4. <laughs> hey, she ain't helping. It's after hours. <laughs> she ain't getting paid for after hours work. Oh, the booby trap. Oh. This is some Final Destination stuff right here. Like, avoiding everything. Like, trying to cheat death. Where's Tony Todd? Ooh! She, she got some lawn capabilities here. Oh, oh, man. We lost Cassie. Far out. She didn't make it. Guess you can't cheat death. It was some freaking dark and gloomy stuff, man. How was your mom? Okay. What killed her? There's something I'm more to kids. us. I mean, your family had a history with Hargreaves and Phoenix. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She never told Cassie. But it was true. And she was going to die no matter what, wasn't she? Man. Didn't matter what you did. Found her. Uh huh. No. You didn't, cause you tried. So you listened and you tried. So sad, man. She died cause of heart, not cause of you. It's just one of those situations where it is what it she is. She was my friend because of you. I guess you tried to do it yourself. So what then? You two already know that. You know the baby. You can't tell me. See, I feel like that was one of the big themes of season six as well. Like, what what can you do when you can't help? Like, honestly, look at the Tara situation. No one could have helped there. No one could have predicted that a bullet would have gone through a window from um, Warren rocking up in Buffy's backyard and Tara catching a stray through the window and then. Willow turning into Dark Willow from it. Is this going to be the final shot? Because I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that final shot of Buffy racking up to her office. Um, You know, sort of like another day of work. And she's lost the shoot as a counselor. The first sort of week or so um, she's been a counselor. You know, she lost a, she lost a patient. She lost a student she was trying to connect with and find out more about. And... Even though she said she was going to die, and we're all thinking as the audience, you know, it's going to be this demon stuff, this ritual stuff. It's going to be the guy that's going to kill her, or it's going to be the booby trap, the arrow. And then you think to yourself, no, she just knew she was going to die. She was special. She had some sort of psychic abilities. But no, she knew she was going to die, and it was that day. Um, and unfortunately, it was just normal human stuff. It was just life. Life. Like season, th se season six themes rolling into season seven. Just life in general. It is what it is, you know? Like... What can you do when you can't help? The whole theme of the episode is Buffy um, exploring Buffy's sort of like first role as a counselor. And yes, there was a few comedic beats here and there. And I thought the tone of the episode um, started to change when we had that scene with investigating Cassie's father and seeing Cassie, you know, you can't stop it. And Buffy did as much as he can to help. But yeah, it is what it is sometimes. You know what? That is fate. You can't 
change that. Um, that's just the way it is. Even like season five, Buffy accepting um, that death was her gift. That is what it, it is. What it is. You can't change that sometimes. And yeah, you sometimes as much as you help, sometimes as much as you try to help. And like Dawn was saying, you tried. That's the difference. But as much as you try, sometimes you're not always going to succeed. And sometimes, yeah, whatever God's will is, like in. If you're a believer or not, whatever, if whatever God's will is, it is what it is. That's it. That's how it happened to be. That's how Cassie was meant to go out and she went out like that. And Buffy tried her best, but unfortunately she couldn't. And maybe that's going to probably um, help her out to be a better counselor. Like Buffy learned a lot from this episode and it's going to help her. It's going to help her. Like the theme of the episode, help. A lot of people need help now. Um, to, Like Willow needs help coping with what she's coping with. Dawn's going to need help now coping with the loss of a friend, even though she's known her for probably a few weeks or a week or so. Buffy needs help now, even like sort of trying to connect with these students. So you saw at the start of the episode, she was struggling. And then even with the bully, the first, the, the, the person there with the bully, how she curbs up the guy, Buffy was repeating stuff that the bully uh, or like the girl had already heard before. And so she needs help trying to connect with people differently and unique ways. She's experienced a lot of stuff. So I'm guessing she can, but yeah, we lost a student this episode. So a really dark tone right there. Like we lost a student. It wasn't a happy, clappy, Buffy saves the day ending. Um, it's sometimes casualties occur. You're not going to be able to save everyone. And this instance, she was trying to save one person only and then fate intervened. It is what it is. That's, that's what's going to happen. She was meant to go out. And yeah, the tonal shift in this episode was completely... Um, completely crazy i didn't expect that towards the end especially and like you think the day is saved buffy gives like a final sort of few lines to cassie she's gonna go on and live her life and then bang she just dies and family had heart problems and it was a history of it and you can't do nothing about it that's the scary thing sometimes about life and the season six themes i feel like carry on like i said before about tara like um you know how much buffy tried to help uh you're not going to be able to stop that situation with warren rocking up with a gun and then tara catching a stray like what can you do in that instance like even with buffy with all her powers you cannot you cannot you cannot help everyone and that's what i guess um is the best thing for our heroes or um to experience in certain situations like you've seen it in multiple superhero movies as well like i enjoy it when there's casual casualties and there's stakes and the superhero experiences are lost because you're not going to be able to save everyone as a superhero you just have to come to terms with that and again buffy came to terms with that this episode and as well a few teasers here and there as well with cassie before she went out you know spike you know one day she'll tell you how she feels and i'm guessing that's gonna um be oh one day she'll tell you and i'm guessing that's like one day buffy's gonna tell spike how she really feels about him in terms that she loves him or has feelings for him i'm still not sure how i feel about that but obviously you got to differentiate spike with a soul and spike without a soul and then the same thing goes with angel as well um but yeah it's going to be interesting to see how the season unfolds um terrible maybe first week or two as a counselor for buffy it's going to be interesting to see i want them to explore that more buffy dealing with students because hey it's been some crazy stuff a lot of people had problems this episode the one that was um caught, caught buffy's attention hey she couldn't save and maybe that's going to make her do her job a lot better right now. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my commentary and reaction to episode 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 7 titled Help. Yeah, really enjoyed that one. Really good, really good. As always, been your boy Eddie Moses. Take care, God bless, and peace.